What's up guys, Camaking Goalkeeping here and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you've been a subscriber for a number of years, you probably have seen my most viewed video ever on my how to use goalkeeper tape, which got about 15,000 views. We can all admit that the quality on that video isn't the best, so I've decided to do an updated one on the three best ways to use goalkeeper tape. Different times where I tend to use goalkeeper tape is when I feel that my fingers are starting to get a bit sore, if they've been a bit injured or if my wrist is a bit weak, if I've had a sprained wrist recently, I tend to use goalkeeper tape just to make sure that my fingers and wrist and hand kind of area is nice and secure. When we're speaking about goalkeeper tape, there's two different kinds of tape that you can use. There's this one which is a self-adhesive, I can't say that word, but it means it sticks to itself. And there's this injury tape, which is just sticky tape. I tend to use this one more when I'm wearing a bandage, but this one is the one I would use when I'm wrapping my wrist or fingers. So like I said, I'm going to show you three different ways to use goalkeeper tape in this video. The first way is going to be just on your fingers. The second way is going to be right around your full wrist. And the third way is going to be for your full hand and wrist. So let's get into the first one, which is the fingers. As you'll see here, I've got about a 10 centimeter length of this tape. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get this tape if you want to buy some. So basically how to use this tape, as you'll see on your finger, this little bit here where the joint is, you're wanting to make sure that the middle of the tape, so this bit here, is on where the joint is. Ensuring that the middle bit of your finger is in the middle of the tape provides the support that you need for your finger. So like I said, this tape sticks to itself. So what you want to do is make sure that the center of the tape is on the joint of your finger, like I said. And you want to hold it down on this side of your finger with your thumb like that, and then simply wrap it around. Like I said, the tape is self-adhesive, so it sticks to itself. So once it's wrapped around once, you don't need to worry about it falling apart. Once it is fully wrapped with your finger, I like to give it a little squeeze just to make sure it is securely tightened on there. As you can see, it gives you enough room to bend it, but I can also feel it nice and tight. So if I do bend my fingers back or something, there's less likely of me getting injured. So I'll show you how to do that again on this finger here. So again, exactly like I said, you get the joint here, which is this bit of the finger, and you make sure that the center of the tape is going across the center of the joint. Again, hold it down with your thumb, and just wrap it around again. Once it sticks to itself, uh, you don't need to worry about holding the tape anymore because like I said it sticks to itself. Again just give it a nice little squeeze to make sure it's nice and tight. You can bend your fingers and you're good to go, you've got goalkeeper tape on, nice and secure fingers. I had a comment in the last video, or the one from a couple of years back, that can you reuse this tape? The short answer is yes, but I personally don't reuse the tape. Just for the fact if I've been in a, uh, if I've been in a football match, and I'm getting all sweaty, sometimes the tape will fall off when I take the gloves off so it's best not to reuse sweaty tape in theory you can because it sticks to itself but I personally don't so let's move on to number two this one is how to wrap your wrist this one's a lot harder this one you want about a 20 centimeter length of tape and again it's almost exactly the same you're just wanting to put it around your wrist like you would expect this one's a lot harder to hold and do at the same time. So as you can see here, I've got it on my wrist. I bring it to the front of my wrist just because that's the easiest to hold and grab the tape at the same time. So I hold it in the middle or kind of off to the side of it with my thumb and then with my middle finger and other finger here, index finger, you can see I'm pulling it around and again, it's sticking to itself. And then once it's sticking to itself, you don't need to worry about it falling off. So once it's on, you just kind of wrap it around your wrist as much times as you possibly can and give it a nice little squeeze. Again, that just provides a lot more secure. I tend to wouldn't do this if I've got longer gloves because I know a lot of gloves nowadays are kind of coming higher up on your wrist to provide that wrist support. But if you've got a kind of older pair of gloves that don't go so far up, I do tend to do this just so that I've got extra security on my wrist. If I do go for a tip over the bar or if I go and punch the ball, I know that my wrist won't go back and if it does, it's less likely of me getting injured. And this next one is how to wrap your full hand. I would never do this unless I have just came back from a really recent hand injury. 
The reason I wouldn't do it is because of how much tape it uses up. You can see here that there's a lot of tape on this roll and I can guarantee that this full tape will be gone by the time I've finished wrapping my hand. I like to use the, I like to wrap my hand whilst the tape is on the roll just because I don't exactly know how much I'll need. But it's, you start off like the second tip where you wrap the wrist. So again, all you do, put the, put your thumb there and then it's easier with this because you've got the roll so you can just pull the roll around rather than using your finger and two fingers to pull it around. I like to wrap it around my wrist twice and then once it's back to this bit of my hand I'll opposite my thumb, I make the tape a bit longer and pull it up in between my index finger and thumb so you can see it goes around the middle like that. So it's here like this and then I bring it around the back of my hand so it goes just under where my fingers meet my palm. It just goes round the front, so it's just basically a straight circle. And once you've got it back here, it's not straight, it's almost diagonal. So you can see that there's not a piece of skin here. It covers the skin. And then on the front, you see there's a piece of skin as well. You just want to cover that. Go back over the thumb to provide that security. And then once it's back on the thumb, sorry if I'm not explaining this very well, sometimes it's easier just to see. But once it goes back over the thumb, you're wanting to see that piece of skin there. Again, cover that up. And then, oh, no, I've messed that up. Cover that up like that. And then again, back around the wrist. And you'll see there's a piece of skin there. Want to cover that up as best you can and like I said I use the full tape and then just go back around and finish on the wrist. So as you can see I have got the full hand protection here. You can individually wrap your fingers if you want but this would be kind of for a knuckle injury, a wrist injury or if you kind of stave your thumb and you get a lot of swelling here uh, that's what this would be for. If you have any questions on how to do it, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely help you out. Anyway, this has been the end of the video. I hope you guys found it very beneficial and I hope it was better than the last one I've done because I really do not like watching it. Make sure you go and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video from myself, Cam Aitken Goalkeeping. Hit the like button and follow my social medias which is linked in the description below. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future because this channel is to help you guys. I do goalkeeper training, I do how-tos, and I do lots of different beneficial and entertaining videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like I said, and I'll see you guys in the next one.